What's your name? Uh, Neil Robert. Okay, and uh, where are you from, Neil? Uh, Westland. All right, and uh, so are you a veteran? Yes, yep. Served in the Navy from uh, 97 to 05. Um, was overseas uh, after September 11th fighting uh, uh, just general war on terror stuff. What do you think the best thing about the Memorial Day Parade here in Westland is? Uh, it's just great having everybody from the city out to uh, honor those who weren't able to make it home from overseas. Uh, the freedoms that we fought for overseas mean so much to all of us as well as everyone back home and it's just great a day like this whenever we get to see everybody actually using the freedoms that we fought for. Uh, all right, well thanks for your service. Absolutely, thank you. Hi, my name is Kurt Scott, and I'm here with Wayne, Wayne 112 Lodge, and we are all representing all fallen soldiers. Just thank all your veterans and um, praise them, because they've done a great job out there. That's why we're free today, because of our veterans. From Van Buren Township, uh, in this parade today to represent the uh, fallen brothers that did not make it. So in honor of them, I'm here to represent them. Well, my name is Gil Albanese. I am Worship Master Wayne Lodge Number 112. I'm here representing all the all the veterans that have lost their lives in, in all the wars. We are out here to celebrate the memory of fellow soldiers, the, those that have given the ultimate sacrifice, as well as those that have served for all branches of service. Just stand by the veterans. That's all. Be a patriot to the. America to the United States, that's all. Um, sometimes I think we could do a little bit more, but we're strapped sometimes by the federal government. What could we do more? Uh, well, I believe there's a lot of vets that ain't getting help that they should be getting. What can we do to help them? Medical. Okay. Um, you know, I see a lot of things that really I think should be a little bit better than what what is for the, the veterans you know especially the Vietnam vets they're, yeah. they're, re, they're a lot forgotten uh, I think everybody should be out and uh, honoring our vets not only the fallen vets but the ones that serve in our country right now the men and young men and women today so it's uh, they're doing a great honor and we all should be out here paying tribute to them Private Joseph Blake, assigned to 1st Battalion, 32nd Infantry, 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 10 Mountain Division, 4th Drum, New York, died of injuries sustained when his platoon encountered enemy forces, small arms fire in Turkalay, Afghanistan. We are very proud of him, of what he achieved, and we're proud of his willingness to fight.
I'd like to invite the uh, parents of uh, Robert Blake to say a few words if you'd like. We all stand here today free because of the sacrifice and the service of our soldiers. Freedom is not free. Joanne and I stand here representing all those families who have lost loved ones in the conflicts, as we just recently heard. I'd just like to share how Joe taught us about courage. He came home on July 4th of 2006 for his mid-deployment leave from Afghanistan. Two weeks earlier, he had seen one of his comrades be shot in, a, in another vehicle. He was driving that day. He was not the gunner. Normally, he was the gunner. And he came home on leave and relaxed and enjoyed himself and had a wonderful time. But the day before he left, we could see his visage change. He was a different person. He was getting ready to go back into combat. And it was only three weeks later that we had a knock on the door to tell us that he had been killed with small arms fire. You know, he had prepared to go back and he had prepared to, been prepared to give his life and courage is doing what is necessary regardless of the cost. And we honor all of our veterans who every day live out that kind of courage. Thank you. I'm gonna ask you to do a couple of things. First of all, when you see a soldier, I want you to go up to them and say thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your dedication. The other thing I'm going to ask you to do is to pray for our soldiers. I want you to pray for their safety and pray for their families. We thank all of you. God bless all of you and God bless America. We will now do the uh, laying of the wreaths. Staff Sergeant Austin Mack will lay the wreath for Charles Volker, our commander. Staff Sergeant Israel, present Hulk. Danny Horton. We'd like to invite Mayor Bill Wilde from Westland. 
I'd like to thank everybody here today for taking some time out of their holiday weekend to remember those folks that, that paid the ultimate sacrifice for all of us that would have the freedoms that we enjoy here today. I'd also like to ask each of you to, to keep in mind, too, that um, you'll have a chance to come back to this same site here later this summer. Uh, in July, from July 21st to July 25th, we'll have the moving wall, which will be on site here in honor of those folks that they gave their lives in the Vietnam War to be a moving tribute. So we welcome you to come back on that day as well. So once again, it's an honor to be here on behalf of the citizens of Westland. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Wild. Now we'll have uh, the mayor from the city of Wayne, Mayor Al Hattis. So I want to thank you all for being here today. And we don't have to only remember and thank our veteran on a Memorial Day only. They live in our hearts and we keep continue to remember them and pray for those who still serve them. And thank you for giving me this honor to be here today to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, both mayors. We appreciate your comments. We will now proceed with the uh, closing of our ceremonies here. Heather? AMVETS yeah, 171 Color Guard, if you'd proceed, please. Closing benediction, Joe. Prayers entitled, Thank You to Fellow Veterans. Uncover. We pray for those who've joined you, a very special kind, and those that are still missing, that we may never find. We give thanks for peace and pray forevermore that you protect this country that we all adore. Keep us ever mindful, Lord, of the rights we have today and of the sacrifices made that many had to pay. Remind us to give thanks to those who paid with pain. And please remind them, Lord, that they didn't die in vain. Thank you for the right to worship. The method is our choice. And for living in a country where we have a voice. As this service ends, Lord, we give thanks for peace, and then, before we go to sleep tonight, we'll give thanks again. Amen.